Hello viewers, well now we're taking a look at Victory Heat Rally. Here a shakedown demo which was released on Steam a few weeks ago. It came on Steam and I thought why not have a go and check it out. Indie developed racing game. I've been following its development over the last couple of years actually and it's coming along nicely and so we finally see the demo. Now talking through different elements here firstly artistic look menu screens look fantastic it's quite an interesting hybrid actually between the 16-bit era and modern day this all has very much a, a nintendo sega vibe it makes me think of stunt race effects it's a snes vibe in terms of the 2d elements there and then you move to the actual racing itself it reminds me of choro q and at the same time you have that sort of ground system that's like a smoother version of power drift and that's where you have the hybrid in terms of technology because you have a SNES front end with, uh, say, a PS1 design in terms of the art style as well, in terms of the cars and the Choro Q vibe, the SD vibe. And then you have modern day technology in terms of the fluidity, the smoothness, the frame rate uh, and the vibrancy. So it's all these things that combine that give you an old school art design. Uh, wrapped up with modern technology love it so getting into the gameplay uh, and i've been having good fun on it it's a drifting type game you drift through the corners you get a boost at the start you drift through the corners and the longer you you can hold that drift you can straighten the car and exit you get a bigger boost and it's all about maximizing those apexes and maximizing that boost on every corner and just keeping it fluid it's actually more difficult than it looks in many ways it requires a lot of practice to get it just right and i like that i like the way that experts can make that little difference uh, at the same time it's not impossible to get into it's very quick and intuitive so liking the design so far um, we're seeing one of the cars here on one of the courses there are two courses in the demo you've got this sort of race track and then you have the the circuit mode and then you have the rally mode in there as well now there are three tire types that are in here and you'll see in just a moment we have the sport type the grip and the drift style as well so there we are all three types of cars running around now i find for myself that the grip and drift styles are both pretty good for me the sport's a bit middle of the road it's not that quick compared to the other two uh, you can get more precision with your drifts on the drift type but with the grip you really can pull a lot of speed ahead but the drifts are a little bit more challenging so interesting they've got these little types in here just for the demo it shows a little bit of variety more cars more tire types in the final game and we look to see what's there in terms of the tracks and challenges as well this is being released on pc first but uh it would be nice to see a, possibly a switch version down the line as well it's ideal with that nintendo vibe for the switch and no doubt the switch could power it adequately as well so there's also a replay mode and you get to see your little car driving around there he is as i'm flying off the track uh, and just just a nice little thing it reminds me of something I'm sure they had it in Ridge Racer where you could make the cars really small and have SD versions of the cars driving around many years ago now so gives me that vibe as well and talking of Ridge Racer we've got to mention the music music's kick-ass it's got Ridge Racer vibes written all over it love that bit of homage uh, and yeah good fun throughout so played this a few times had good fun on it, lots of potential. Let's hope the final game has some longevity, tracks, cars, leaderboards, and different types of challenges. Collect the fruit or whatever you do driving around. We're looking for those sort of random, sort of Japanese style uh, gameplay challenges that you enjoyed a lot years ago and that extra creativity uh, that you have with the freedom of developing an indie title. So good work by the developers. I look forward to seeing the final game. And that's it for me for now on this video, looking at Victory Heat Rally, and there'll be more from me very soon. Hello viewers, well thanks for watching the video today. Do like and subscribe, it supports what we do. Do become a YouTube member. YouTube Patreon supports all of our content you see on the channel. And of course, lots of gaming from retro to modern games. I love it all in terms of racing action. So click on one of the two videos just there to find out more.